Hey there, Airsofters. Today I'm going to be reviewing my ANK M249 Mark I, also known as the Saw or Mini Me. So, this is my gunner loadout. I'll go over a few essentials to be a good support gunner. You're going to need a good heavy support weapon strap. It's got to have the pad. A normal strap is just going to make your shoulder ache a lot. This one, even after a full day, your shoulder is aching a bit. Um, so, that's about 20 bucks at e-bike. Um, the gun was about $500 Canadian. They're more expensive and rare in Canada, the mini -mies. Um But yeah, the other M249s are a little cheaper usually. Also, you're going to need a backup weapon. I use a KJW P226 with a Phobos Elite holster. Gas powered, so it's low FPS. Uh, about 285 FPS for a close range. You're going to need a close range gun because this thing is not maneuverable in CQB situations. And the FPS on it, 390 average. It's got really good range, pretty good accuracy. I'm very impressed with it. Um, the rate of fire is great, and I'm only running 9.6 volts. You can run 11.1s, but I wouldn't recommend it because 11.1s are hard on any gearbox, really. Um, so I'll start at the back of the gun, I'll move to the front. Um, got a shoulder rest at the back. I love that feature. Just flips up um, the uh, skeleton stock here, metal. I really like that classic look um, for uh, sling strap holes. It's got one here and one here on each side. Um, so you can use M4 mags in this gun too. Uh, they just go right in the side here. I'll go over that later. Um, so at the back here, you press these in, you can flip it up, there's the hop up right there. This spring you can take out, if you want this to be realistic where it doesn't slide forward because the real one doesn't slide forward, you just take the spring out, then you just put it back forward. The caulking lever's got to be back a bit before you can lock it into place. Uh, the carrying handle, it does get wobbly. One of my... Uh, bolts here was stripped uh, when I got the gun, so that's why it's wobbly, but it would probably end up wobbly later anyway. I carry the gun like that quite a bit. Um, I'll keep going at the back here. Pistol grip is pretty good feel, classic. Got some sort of clip here to hold that into place. I think you can store things in here, I'm not sure. But uh, the gearbox is just a very basic unit here, easy to work on. Easy to access, there's a quick change spring, you just got to take the stock off here, uh, pop in a new spring. Um, the sights, this here, the elevation adjuster, um, it gets bumped very easily, so I always have mine on three, uh, so I just reset that before I, if I want to make a really clean shot, then I reset it to three. This is windage here, this one thankfully isn't bumped easily, it's not as loose as this one. Um, so yeah, the sights are very basic, hooded front sight. Um, the trigger, very good, not a long pull. Um, here's the safety, you press that in for full auto, it's only got full auto, no semi-auto. Pop it back out for safety. Um, so yeah, there's the trigger guard box magazine that it comes with, 2500 rounds made by a &K. I didn't have any problems with it, I didn't have any problems with anything on the gun. I know a &K stepped up their game a bit in the past couple of years or whatever, I'm not sure. There still might be some duds out there. Uh, I know some of them have issues with the hop up, uh, the box mag, um, the trigger con connection switch. There's all, there's ways to fix that without spending any money if you look on YouTube. Uh, for the box mag, it's just uh, the spacers are too long. You got to shave them down a little bit, and then that fixes that. Um, for the hop up, you cut off a little piece of uh, the ink holder for a pen, put it in the hop up. Uh, that'll fix that. It just needs a longer nub or whatever. Um, the trigger, you just need to bend the connectors a little bit so you get better connection. I think that's something like that anyway. It's on YouTube. Um, to remove the barrel, you press this here, see this lever here, you press that in, pops out, 
you can access the hop up and barrel, slide it all out. You gotta make sure it goes in on the right notch. Line this up here. You'll hear a click, it's in, solid. This is just for show. On re in real, um, you turn this to adjust the rate of fire. It's got the classic Mini Me flash hider at the front. Um, I know the AMKs have a gold, forget what that's called, but it's gold anyway, and uh, with classic army in them, it's just black, I think. Um, the bipod is handy, it pops right out, you just pinch it a bit, pops right out. It's got three settings, so it can, it can really be a tall bipod, but uh, really the third setting is when do you ever use that. Pinch it in, fold it back in like that, it clips in nicely. And the battery compartment is in there. It's got room for a 9.6 easily. All right, so I'll show you how to remove the box mag here. First, I'll let you know, uh, one of these feeds BBs, the other one has wires. I forget which one's which. Anyway, you press this button, pull this out. There you go. See, it's this wire that feeds the BBs. Um, press that, pull it out, 2,500 rounds. You can load some in here, um, but what I like to do is just pop this off, um, just pour them in here, make sure you don't get any in here. I made a little uh, plastic protector thing so that BBs don't really go in there anymore because uh, if you bump the mag or anything, once in a while a BB might, a few BBs might go in here when you first get the gun. It doesn't have this obviously. A couple of AA batteries here. It goes a long time on them too. Several mags. Um, quite a good mag actually. I was running full tilt into some brush and I couldn't keep my pace up because my feet were getting dragged down by um, the weeds, the tall weeds and I, the gun's so heavy I just like, I fell flat over almost at a full sprint. All my weight right on the gun on hard dirt. I landed on a dirt patch. Uh, most of the weight went right on the mag, and all that it happened was just a little crack there. No damage to any of the gun or anything. And I probably took more of a beating from that than the gun. So, yeah, the mag works great. I've only had one minor issue with the mag after several hours of gameplay. Uh, one of the gears popped loose, and um, I took it apart. To take it apart, you just uh, take some screws out, pull this whole thing out, and... Uh, you gotta put feed this back through there so you can pull the whole inside assembly out and uh, you just pop the gear in or do whatever you gotta do to get it working. They're pretty easy to work on. Has auto off in the middle and sound control. Sound control is the one you want it on. You just turn it on auto until the BBs are fed up to the tip here and then you flip it to sound control and when you're not using the gun you just flip it off. And and those two uh, screws there are the ones that you take out when you want to slide out the internals out of the mag to work on it. Make sure when you put this on, you give it a, a slap because if you don't have them both clipped fully, then BBs will roll into that compartment. That's why I put this plastic thing there so that to help keep BBs from rolling in there because it doesn't have that stock. All right, I'll put the mag back on, show you how to do that. Make sure there's no BBs in there first, so I just like tap that, like make sure that sometimes BBs fall out. This part has to go on first. Just put it in until it clips. And then you gotta line this up with these two guides. Put that in until it clips. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you how an M4 mag looks in this gun. Pop it in there. These standard ones seem to fit just fine. They can have a bit of wobble. Uh, so yeah, I like to use high caps obviously because it's a support gun, you want to hold more rounds. Um, I carry three of them. Uh, sometimes in this pocket instead I carry like batteries or whatever if I think I'm gonna need to change the battery. Um, also the carrying handle is actually quite solid. Like I've been carrying the gun using the carrying handle quite a bit and it may be wobbly a bit but it it's quite solid. There it is. Um, see how the gun's full metal? 
This is plastic, this is plastic. The handle's plastic. Uh, also, you're gonna want a hydration bladder for sure. I do a lot of running and I know if I didn't have a hydration bladder, I'd be deadbeat tired. Hope this video helped and uh, good luck airsofting.